Is today the day? Is today the day we're gonna get a foil core, curio or stone? Is today the day? But I can tell you all, I had to pay the gold price in my framamajig. Oh yeah, that's the gold price right there. So, I'm putting my money where my mouth is on that one because I did end up buying one. And I did that because we're on the precipice, folks. We're on the precipice of um, things being out of stock. And once that happens, that core is gonna go twice what it is now, twice. This game's only going up, and, you know, there's, there's no other way around it. So I, I'm having some trouble with the camera on that guy, so I'm gonna kind of turn him to the side there. Um, it's really late at night, but I want to make sure I open these so I have some additional foils and, and things to trade with folks um, when I go to the event tomorrow. So I'm, I'm opening all the packs that, uh, that I have sitting around that I was planned on opening. And um, we're just going to go ahead and crack things and see, see how we do today. Nice death speaker. Love to see a seer in foil. Speaking of, if we can have our choosings, death speaker is... Uh, Great card. I'm interested to see if anybody will be running a Death Speaker tomorrow in a deck. Um, who knows? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I did notice, too, I didn't realize this, that uh, Alpha has 39 packs in the box and Beta has 36. If anybody knows why that is, share. I'm, I'm just curious. Just got a curious mind, and I don't, I, I'm wondering why there was 39. Like, what's... The, I don't understand that. Even from like a drafting perspective, wouldn't you want 36? Like I don't. Oh, chains. Chains of Prometh. Chains of Prometh. He's a nice elite. Beautiful. Nice. I see another foil coming in. Cave trolls again. Okay, okay. These guys are, are uh, taunting me. They're taunting me. Seer, he's, he's taunting me. I want to see him in foil. He's really taunting me. Oh, we got the Death Speaker, the Enchantress, the... We got, we got a ton of them. Vile. I'm just excited for all the, the different side events tomorrow. Um, it's just gonna be it's gonna be an awesome day. Um, and if I do well, I do well. Maybe you all see the see the match, see some highlights. If I don't do well, then <laughs> maybe I'll stick to doing what I do best, which is opening packs, talking about value, and uh, building collections and things like that. But I don't know. I have a I have a good sense for the game and. I was actually even practicing in matches against myself, oddly enough. Um, man, we haven't hit a single unique in this whole right side. It's kind of wild. Wicked Witch, okay. Okay. We're 33% through with no uniques. Oh, we got a Grandmaster. He's like always around six bucks just because he's so playable. You know, it's so, what I've found is there's very few cards in the game that allow you to draw cards. So drawing cards is like, definitely in my, in my mind, a uh, privilege. And, you know, stacking your deck with cards that allow you to draw is a very key feature that you have to do. Um, Titan. Beast. These curios must be so hard to pull because I'm I'm at box like 50, folks, 50 boxes, and uh, I mean I've hit foil cores, I haven't hit a foil, I haven't hit a curio, so I mean think of how hard they must be. Scorch, we we actually haven't even hit a unique yet in this box. This was kind of kind of crazy. We might go out with a bang with all of them on one side or something. Stone gaze. What do we got here? Poisonous. I just love how that looks, though. Beautiful. Let's check it out. Yeah, this is one of my like favorite foil cards. Just that green foil looks so good. 
So three foils in, zero uniques in. There, there's the regular poisonous dagger, right? Worm, that's our second worm of the day. Scorched Earth, okay. I think I have this one already. I'm pretty sure, but we're gonna check it out anyway. Just looks good. Looks awesome. Airship, still no uniques. Clamor. Clamor's a pretty hard one to pull if I if I do recall. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking that wrong. Okay. Five foils in, four to go, and seven uniques to go. Still seven uniques to go. Holy cow, we're gonna hit them all at once. I, I don't, at this point in time, I really don't recommend buying single packs just because, you know, you could get stuck with a clump of things that are, you know, really good or really bad. I guess that's the way it is with buying boxes too. But I don't know, I just, I think buying a box, you're, you're at least giving yourself a chance to, guarantee, or a guarantee to get nine foils and seven uniques. Unless in this case, I got zero uniques coming in. <laughs> Maybe, right? Okay. Every, everything must be in this left side. Okay, we got the smokestacks. That's our first unique. So we're around 8 to 10 right there for that one. Jihad. Boom. Awesome pull. It's like a 30 bucker or so. So we've been hitting some real awesome uniques. Um, not so much on the foil side. Foils have been kind of moderate. Moderate to weak. But the uniques have been solid. We're gonna hit another one. Boom, Donnybrook. Yeah, we did. We have three in a row. Midland, four in a row. Look, oh, vaults, five in a row. Jeez. Six, Boneyard. Six in a row. See what I mean about the clumping Torshimer? Okay, that's our foil. Torshimer. Two foils left, one unique left. Not a lot of packs left. Oh, seven uniques in a row. Boom. See? What do we got here? Clamor. Double on the clamor. See? Kind of crazy. Like, what? Two clamor foils in the same box? Seems weird. Okay, disenchant. What do we got here? Polar bears. Polar bears go for a decent amount, I think, just because they're so playable. But we did not pull very top unique or foil pulls in this box, that's for sure. Three, six, nine, yeah, that's it. I think that's the box, folks. Jester. Oh, three, no, no, this is the last one. Ancient Dragon, I don't have this one, so that is awesome. Pretty awesome, I'll take it. Looks great. Okay, three packs to go. Let me get this out of the way. Let's see if we get a, a curio or something. Good. Undertaker. Not there. Puppet Master, okay. Geo. Chimera. Okay, what do we got here to end it? 
All right, nothing too crazy. Thanks again, folks, for tuning in. Nothing really crazy in this game here, or in this box opening here. We did have a Jihad, which is 30 or so dollars. We did have this uh, Ancient Dragon. The Polar Bears are kind of decent, too. Smokestacks and everything. Um, we're probably a little under value on this box at the time, but, you know, that's okay. Sometimes things work out that way. Talk to you all later.